Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining our talk back session after uh, the quarantine experience performance. Uh, we very much hope you enjoyed the show. It was a whole lot of fun to do. Um, uh, please feel free to ask questions in the uh, comments under the video. Uh, there's a 30 second ish lag. So if there's, if, if we don't answer your question immediately, it may just not have popped up for us yet. While we're doing this, um, I'm trying to get things organized still. Um, let's see, you know what I wanna do? Um, uh, Chelsea, could you stand back a little bit and show off the t-shirt? So the t-shirt design was actually designed by one of our students, uh, Wendy Kleintank. So congratulations on that. The very multi-talented Wendy Kleintank. So I have to get something organized on my end. Um, someone ask a question. Um, I'll throw it out to you. I normally start with a question. I'll let someone else start us off. So did you guys enjoy this process? Um, uh, yeah, yes, yes and no. It, it's a, it's a love hate relationship when, when you, when you create, go to start a production where you create your own thing for me, I guess was my experience. Cause I went into this and I was like, oh, I have so many ideas. I'm so excited. I'm so ready to do this. And then I had to create stuff and I was like, writer's block to the max like I I couldn't I didn't know what I was doing I was like why did I do this to myself why why but then once I finally got my pieces together and I um I was very proud of myself for being able to put something together for this in in the time frame and that people were like oh yeah that's good and I was like really oh seriously you're not like messing with me here you're not just being nice like it's 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 a weird love hate I I I'm I'm proud of myself but I also like was was stressed about this production I don't know and then I don't I just like seeing everyone else's pieces too and that was that was the best part I'm gonna say that so I, I really liked this. Um, it I agree with I would I agree with Ali. It was quite stressful, <laughs> and uh, you know sometimes things don't don't go as planned. But I really liked seeing everyone's ideas like take form from the very beginning to the very end. It, it was a really neat experience. I I very much liked it. Um, during this process, we had you do. Um, a lot of other pieces of art, not just the, the primary pieces that you were focusing on. For instance, the six word stories um, were not actually supposed to be part of it, but we personally felt their six word stories were phenomenal. Um, what did you guys feel about being forced to do those, forced is a little strong, about those additional art pieces being required? I really enjoyed it. I think it was fun too, but uh, when we did the poem, I'm like, uh, I don't know how to do a poem. So I'm like, ah, I want to write one about my cousin. I'm like, Noah, what are you scared of? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so okay. that's how I thought about it. Okay. Um, we have a few comments. Um, Megan Simon has said, great job, guys. You all make my heart super happy. Thank you, Megan. We're glad you enjoyed it. Um, Elizabeth Kell, uh, way to go, Savannah and Wendy, excellent pieces on your violins. I really enjoyed the poem with the scattered structure, but I apologize, I don't know who did that one. That was Ali Bolin that did that one. Um, great job. And Jennifer Taylor, um, Simon Girls, you are so cute. Um, so there are some faces on here that were not seen on screen tonight. First off, I'm Carl Hutcherson. I'm the technical director, kind of the 
Oz behind the curtain, ignore the man behind the curtain, that I'd like to stay in the dark most of the time. Um, Chelsea Turner was another one of the sponsors. Uh, Lucy Lemke Clark, Michelle Gilger, and Amber Hutcherson. Uh, we were the sponsors of this that helped guide the students towards the pieces that they made. It was 100% their ideas, their work. Um, we just helped to, we encouraged. Um, we have a comment from Doug Sokolowski. I liked how it all came together and shared your thoughts and you showed your creativity. For those that did the cartoons, were those the first time you did that or, and do you plan to do more as a hobby? So that would be a question for Abby and Charlotte, I believe. Uh, start with Abby. Have, have you done animations like that before? I, I haven't really done comics, but I do draw a lot. I actually want to become an animator in the future. So, yeah. So cool. I do that commonly. Okay. Um, Charlotte, how about you? Do, how much animation do you do? I actually do do a lot of animation. If you want to get into it, I recommend Global Clip. Uh, say that louder, we couldn't hear it. I do do animation a lot. If you want to start animating, I recommend full the clip. Okay. Uh, we have a question from Maddie Phillips. I wanted to know if Wendy prefers piano or violin. Definitely violin over piano, <laughs> definitely. Um, Maddie also says hi to Michelle. So um, Now, Wendy, what I wanted to know is there was a guitar in the background of several of your videos as well. Um, will you be doing a trio for your next piece? I don't play much guitar. I can kind of play a little bit. I could try to do a very basic trio, but it definitely wouldn't be as advanced as violin. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm, I feel like I'm talking a lot, so I want to open up the floor to anyone else. Do you have, does anybody have thoughts or questions that they would like to share? I have a question. Um, so go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to brag on Abby, so you can go ahead and ask your question. <laughs> brag on, brag on your sister. Totally brag on your sister. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it would be appropriate, but Abby, she, um, she has been doing like art studies recently. And um, she did a Salvador Dali inspired piece that literally everyone in my family has turned into their wallpapers for their phones and <laughs> devices because they love it so much. And it is it is incredible because um, I, I watched Abby go from like stick figures to now she can do paintings uh, on on her iPad with like ease and it's insane. And I watched, I, I was watching her draw the other day and she's now doing like a Renaissance style painting and it's beautiful and it's only in the sketching area and just, just, I'm watching this person grow and her art is just simply amazing. And so it's incredible to watch her and she doesn't, she doesn't brag on herself enough. And I just felt like I, that needed to be said is this, she is an artist. Like she is really, really, really good. And it was really cool that, that she got to put her art out more for this show. Like I was really happy that she got to do it. So anyways. <laughs> Um, and now Megan Simon is saying that since you've mentioned it, we have to show it. Okay. Okay. So, so I, will, I will share you. You can share your screen. Okay. I will see what I can do. One second though. Um, I want to make sure that I have it already open. Okay. That'll make my life a lot easier. So I'm sorry, Abby, but uh, you you deserve to have your art seen. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go right here. So Abby made this. That's phenomenal. I know, wow. I am so proud. It's, it is 
absolutely incredible to me. Uh, and it is my wallpaper on multiple things. Yeah, that, that's a really incredible piece. It is. <laughs> Uh, what so what software do you work with or yeah what software do you work with I usually use uh, procreate on my iPads well I do agree with Ali that you do really good work with it so yeah uh, that is, that is amazing <laughs> like that is legit awesome. Um, Amber, you were going to ask a question. Oh, um, yeah. So the other sponsors for this have been doing workshops all the rest of the summer. And so I kind of got nominated to take point on this one. And I somehow in my, my meanness, I decided that these kids were all going to do two different projects and they had to do two different things. So I know when Wendy came in, she was very excited to do the violin piece, but then we dropped the bomb on her that she had to do something that wasn't musical. And so I just wanted to know how you guys felt about being forced to do something that maybe was outside of your comfort zone. Lil, I see your hand. Well, um, I haven't done poetry in a while. I loved it when I was in sixth grade. So I was kind of excited to just like try it again. And it was pretty fun. I tried doing a different style, but it just didn't turn out that well. But I did do the other poem that I shared. But, um, and then at first when you said different style, I thought you meant art and I totally freaked out because <laughs> I cannot draw for the life of me. I just can't do it. I used to love it, but once I started theater, I just could not do anything related to the drawing and painting. <laughs> Your drawing was not terrible. Yeah, it, I, I've definitely seen worse, but. Yeah, the drawing I did, <laughs> whoo. <laughs> oh just just to explain that um every night every night when we had class we would do like little um we did the six word stories we did had them write poetry and then one night they had to do contour drawings and so they you had to look at someone's picture and then you had to draw their face without lifting their pen their pencil or looking at the paper and that turned out sort of more terrible and more wonderful than I had anticipated because everyone was laughing so much about what we ended up with. Yeah, it, it was really fun. And I broke the ice because I, I know where Picasso came up with cubism now, because that's the only way to describe the piece that I drew. Uh, hmm. And so we have two more comments, um, Doug Sokolowski. I like the monologues and personal stories. How did each of you enjoy watching each other during our rehearsals this week? Uh, Grace, go ahead. I kind of already answered this one, sorta. Um, I really liked watching uh, everyone's, um, what they come up with, including their monologues, because each rehearsal and each, you know, little, portion you could see them getting more confident and more like just I don't want to say better because they were already great but even better than they were so. um Savannah I personally like seeing everybody do it too because with our monologues they were all so different yes they were the same like type of style but like one had to do with talking to somebody, one had to talk about emotions with like everything going on. And then there was just one talking about one subject with emotions, which I thought was really cool. Where like, you know, we were supposed to all do, we were, uh, no, we all choose to do a monologue, but it, we went all different roads with it, if that makes sense. Yeah, they were wildly different, even though they started from the same kernel of idea. Mm -hmm. um, Lil. 
Well, I really loved seeing the monologues grow, especially like everyone's ideas was amazing, but I, I loved how different our monologues were. Like Savannah's, yours made me tear up the first time I heard it because it just made me think of back to the 80s. And it made me very emotional because I thought, well, maybe I won't be able to do this ever, ever again. And it made me very emotional for that. And then Wendy, you, when I heard your idea, I was so jealous. I was like, man, that's a great idea. I love it. And then the way you did it, I just, I loved it. And then the pictures that went behind it, that grew into it. It was just amazing. Allie? Um, so I, I've been fangirling this entire process over every single one in this show, like every single person. I mean, it, the question is about the monologues really. And watching those monologues, we had uh, three monologues, I think. And I mean, I watched them go from like, you know, little like brainstorming, just saying what's on my mind to really good, really thoughtful um monologues um that I mean they told your they told their experiences but they became so personal like they they were so similar and so different at the same time and it just shows that everyone's had a completely different experience but also the way that everyone decided to to with different projects with different medias you know the art the animation the music the the performances it's been incredible to see because we had this one tiny idea and everyone was like I can put this into a different media I can turn this into something different this is going to be mine and it's, it was so insane to see and then and then you know you had ideas that were kind of similar but then as they like progressed they got so different and twice as gorgeous I mean Wendy, you wrote music. Like, I can't do that. I can't write music. I obviously tried and I, I can do lyrics any day of the week, apparently, but like music. Oh my gosh. Savannah, you wrote music. Charlotte, you animated something. It's just, it's incredible to see. I mean, you guys did dance pieces too. And it's just incredible. There's, it, it just reminds you that, you know, it, everyone had a different emotion. People took a humorous take to it. People took a depressing take to it. Whenever we saw someone's piece, we took something different out of it than they had originally thought. And it was just incredible to see people my age showing off their art. Because we don't see it enough, especially around here, because everyone's just a little bit too scared to do it. And it's, it's, it's so nice to see that everyone's just incredibly talented and I'm so jealous <laughs> like that's that's it that's I've just been fangirling this entire time because everyone's amazing so but yeah it was really nice to see everyone make something so different from this tiny little grain of salt that we paid for so <laughs> it was really cool um, so I guess our last question, this is another question from Maddie Phillips, and I'm going to ask it a little bit differently than she did. Uh, I, apologies, Maddie, I'm stealing your question. What was everyone's favorite part of the show that you were not in? Um, this includes the people that weren't shown, so I'm assuming she's asking the sponsors for our favorite little snippets as well. Um, we'll just go around the board and I can go last. Um, will anyone who wants to jump out with an answer, feel free if someone's got a favorite that sticks out. Gracie, go ahead. I adored everyone's so much. I mean, I cannot stress enough how much I loved each and every performance and art piece. I really liked Allie's princess song that was just it was it was so amazing it combined you know like acting and a monologue and singing all together it was amazing <laughs> it was really really good and uh so yeah <laughs> anyone else lil go ahead So I think my favorite is 
probably Savannah's monologue, just because I can probably relate to that one the most. Because she does pretty much everything I do. The only thing that was different is I did Back to the 80s and she didn't. But then she kind of tied that in with the, well, I was one of the lucky ones. Some people didn't get to do that. So I just, I really thought it was very nice. But I did love everyone's as well. Uh, Wendy, you raised your hand. I really loved everyone's pieces. They were just, it was so amazing to see how talented everyone is and how many different ideas everyone had from the same thing, the same idea, same basic idea. It just all, it went everywhere. Anyways, I can't, I can't choose a favorite. I loved everyone's. Anyone else? Uh, Amber, go ahead. So I'm going to throw this out here. If you guys hadn't noticed, like these kids have been so supportive of each other through this entire process, which is amazing. Um, I helped several of them with different pieces and parts of this, and I hadn't seen some of the others. Um, I think Savannah's, I'm not going to name a favorite because that's unfair, but I will say that Savannah's makes me tear up a little bit every time I hear it, just because we were able to finish our show Much Ado About Nothing the weekend before everything shut down. And so that's sort of the last bit of normalcy that a lot of us had, because a lot of Abby and Allie and, and Savannah and Lil were in that show and Chelsea and Carl directed it. And so I think that we were incredibly lucky to be able to finish and some other people weren't. And, and I'm, I'm glad for them that they got to finish that experience so it wasn't another thing that was left hanging for them but you guys like blew me away and watching you guys for the last five years some of you um have just seen how much you've grown and so impressed uh abby you are so different and jackson you were actually on screen and you didn't like, get upset and i loved it because you're so shy um, but you guys like this is this has meant a lot to me and I'm usually not like hands on work with you because I I'm back and back doing costumes or whatever but you guys are amazing. Uh, any other thoughts before we close out? I, I do have a final thought. Allie go ahead. Um, so uh, I guess I guess um, total favoritism wise. Uh, uh, I loved all of you like I just fangirled earlier, but, um, you know, between, between, you know, like we've all said, Savannah's monologue, um, we all relate to it so much, maybe cry, Wendy, your, your, your music is beautiful, also made me cry, but, uh, Gracie, your comedy piece, your dance, your dance, the first time I saw it, I was, laughing so hard tears were rolling down my cheeks it literally I could not keep myself together and I think I think that's why it's my favorite because because you took so much comedy and you had the perfect comedic timing and it was just it was really fun to see something so funny and so good uh and I just wish you could have refilmed it again, refilmed your video again with the like the longer stream I did that we had had because oh my gosh, I don't think I could have handled it. It was so good. Um, so I will I will comment that when we started the when we the sponsors first had this kernel of an idea, I was expecting to get 10 or 12 monologues and maybe a few other pieces. And what we wound up with was 23 unique pieces uh, with three, maybe four monologues, depending on how you look at it. And every piece was wildly unique and they all came from a very heartfelt place and I loved every second of it. Um, I'm not going to say that I had a favorite piece because the, it, it depends on the moment which one is touching me the most. I will say that the actual bolt of lightning for me, the piece that just like ah, every single time was Charlotte's six word story. I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> it's the way life has turned lately. 
That's my new motto in life. Well, guess I'm doing this now. <laughs> we need t-shirts. I actually did that the whole <laughs> last second. She did that like why we were Sometimes those are the best. Well, yeah. I I So um, our let's so we have two final comments from Facebook and then we will sign off for the night. Um, Maddie Phillips commented that she really liked the work that we all did in mid in Much Ado About Nothing. So thank you, Maddie. Um, I guess the third one just came in. Um, Diana Sokolowski, I enjoyed watching all of the quarantine plays, but thanks for letting the kids shine showcasing themselves. They were all wonderful. Um, this is an incredibly talented group of young people and we can't help but let them shine because it's what they do. Um, we, there's nothing we can do to prevent it. Um, and then Doug Sokolowski, uh, nice job ladies. Thanks Carl, Amber, Lucy, Michelle, and Chelsea for all summer. So, um, I think we've talked about as much as we can. I do want to say that I have loved this experience and thank you for working with us. Um, hopefully we'll all work again on the upcoming shows. Remember, um, the next quarantine theater play is a junior theater piece. It is the sequel. Um, it's being directed by Jeremy Lehman and it's, uh, we're going to post the audition notice on Facebook tonight, probably and it performs on, what was it, September 12th. So uh, pay attention to that. Um, is, it, is it a junior show? It is a junior show, yes. Okay. Uh, it's a small cat, it's a small cast. So everyone that's in it, it will, it'll be substantial parts for everyone that's in it because it's a small cast. Um, anything else? Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.